Irish, English, and Norwegian. So I'm my own civil war, but that also means I have nothing in me that is immune to the sun. So I light on fire um, when I'm in 10 minutes of sunshine. So I am my own red, white, and blue tonight. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I am running for State Senate District 23. And I had people ask me all the time, what made me decide to run for office? And that is such a hard question to answer to pinpoint one specific issue, one specific moment that was my defining moment. Florida is 46th in the nation when it comes to. We can't hear you. Just take it off. Just take it off. Just Um, so as I was saying, and that was actually a great moment, Florida is 46th in the country when it comes to accessibility. Um, we are 49th when it comes to access to health care. We have one of the dangerous, most dangerous interstates in North America. I believe Not it. in the United States, but in the entire continent of North America. Um, so it's really hard to say what specific issue. But what really cemented in my mind that I had made the right decision to run. Um, I was at work one day, and um, as was mentioned, I work at a Center for Independent Living, and a roofer came into our office one day, and we thought that he was just soliciting business. He asked if we had any leaks in our roof. Um, and we, we said no, not that we had noticed, but then he asked if we had noticed any people climbing up on the roof. Um, of course, that got our attention, and he proceeded to tell us that um, 20 people had been living on the roof in one of the other businesses in our plaza, and they had made themselves quite the home up there. Um, they had gotten mattresses up there, a couch, and a full-sized refrigerator, and actually gotten power up there to it. Um, now, we credit them for their ingenuity and creativity, and we actually kind of wanted to hunt them down and find out how they did this to display to us how they got the refrigerator on the roof. Um, but the tragedy in this is that there were 20 people that felt they had no other option than to make a home on the roof. A few days later, I was at a Tiger Bay lunch. Um, there was a legislative panel, and the people on the panel included Stuby, who I am seeking to replace, and my opponent. And they were asked about affordable housing in Florida, and the um, Sandowski Affordable Housing Trust Fund came up. And Stuby responded with, well, that's up to the Speaker of the House, it's part of the budget, and we just get an up or down vote, and that's it, you know, there's nothing we can do about it. And, and Gruders kind of shook his head, yeah, what he said, and they were just scrolling through their phones, looking at bill numbers so they could answer the next question. And I'm thinking to myself, isn't that your job to do something about this? Right. Um, they just kind of accepted the status quo. Now, in my mind, the job isn't campaigning, this is the job interview. Um, but they have it in their mind that the job is the campaign. They just want to win the election. Um, and then, you know, skate by until the next one. My idea is this is the job interview. I am going through the most arduous, expensive job interview of my life. Um, but the job doesn't start until after the election. And my job is to represent the people of the district. And I've actually met with my opponent. Um, he requested to meet with me. I know he just wanted to size me up. Um, but we talked about what our values were and what the vision was for the district. And he said that he was pro-business. That's what he was running for. And that reflected in the finance report that he just submitted. Um, I actually had more contributors than he did, but all of his contributions came from the business community. Um, he actually had eight or nine um, contributions from the same address um, from businesses with the same variation of the same name. So that is he, who he wants to go to Tallahassee to represent. I want to go to represent the people that actually contributed to my campaign. Um, I want to come back to the district and be able to look the people that I represent in the eye and say that I fought for you. 
and I fought for what was best for my community, I fought for what was best for my district, and what was best for our state. Now, that's not to say that I don't need some of those donations too if I'm going to get to Tallahassee. <laughs> but people's net worth, or people's worth as humans, isn't defined by their financial net worth. Amen. And that is what people have lost. Sight. So the people that can contribute and the person living up on that roof will both be represented by me as yeah. their state senator. So I hope I can count on all of your support. I hope everybody here can count, all of the candidates here can count on your support because we desperately need you. Um, and San Canova as well. So thank you for your time. I appreciate being able to speak tonight. So thank you.